Welcome back Griffin fans, and today I wanted to introduce to you the biggest guild in our kingdom, XX, and what a beautiful guild they are, 80 bill might, and they are recruiting, if you are fat enough, and there you go, there's the guild, excellent, look at that, biggest guild in our kingdom, ranked 35th in the world, and here they are, doing what they do best, burning things, however, this is no ordinary bank, and they are about to learn that the hard way. Some of them, fair play, a lot of them actually, are sending T2. Some of them are sending T4, but have such amazing speed gear that it looks like T2. However, this Mr. Fett guy has come over, he's sending nice and cleanly. He hasn't actually hit me yet, those are his first sends. So we're going to be targeting this guy. Gives a little bit of time for them to either send more or... You know, it's the timing can be a little off sometimes. At the end of the day, you just get what you're given. You've got to draw a line somewhere. I did lose quite a lot of resource. I knew I wasn't going to get a chance to trap a guild like this again. So, probably about 15 seconds away now. And I'll be getting ready to pull those troops home. And uh, if you click the icon on the left there, it's a good way of unshelling you. You click it then and just get ready. As soon as you've seen that your troops have come home, you unshelter. And then all you've got to do is random relocate. So you hit that random reload, all the armies get dragged in, and that was about 6 million kills. So let's have a look at these reports. And I actually went into the battle reports fully here, so you can see exactly what they lost. Uh, it will take a little bit longer to go through, but you do get to see exactly what they lost, which is fun, because they did lose a hell of a lot. So that's the first army from Mr. Fair. That's 200k cav and 80k range, completely dead. That's T2. This is Master, who was the original guy that brought them all over. So, shout out to that guy. 200k dead imp there. For my 770 wounded cav. 300k dead on his second army. And that was all range. No wounded, all dead. T4, 300k. Ouch. His Master's second army. And that's another 200k infantry, all dead. Crazy. Crazy. And on to the next. And that's the third army from Mr. Fett. And that's another 300,000 range. I would love to know what that guy's troop comp is now. He was... 790 mil might, but I tell you what, he would have been heavily rallyable after all this might drop and that leader gone. And you have to remember, I did take this out of gear, so it's a big compliment to my comp and uh, the theory behind it. Granted, I did take a little bit of wounded, I got about 80k wounded, and then they did hit me with a load of familiar attacks, so fair play to them. But it was absolute minimal losses compared to what I did to these guys, so... And, uh, yeah, it's it's really quite incredible just how little wounded I get. And it really does justify how much you don't need T3 meat. Because when somebody sends a 200k inf at you leaderless, you're literally getting, like, 700 wounded T4. 700, not even a 1,000. So I hope this has been interesting. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all the support. And I'll be back with more soon. That's great news. So, yeah, how do you know how much did that? Woo! He was boosted. Sweet. Nice.